We love our furry, fluffy, cute little baby puppies. Personally, I'm a dog person, and having a dog means that I know they like to eat everything. They'll put almost anything in their mouth, and a lot of times it's not so good for them. One of the most common things that dogs eat that they aren't supposed to is, mmm, chocolate. Being a human, I love chocolate, and it doesn't seem so bad for me, so why do dogs get sick or even die after eating chocolate? It all comes down to a chemical in cocoa plants called theobromine. This chemical is fairly easy for humans to metabolize, but much harder for dogs, and a lot of other animals too. Theobromine actually doesn't have any bromine in it, and it's super similar to caffeine. In fact, the only difference is an extra methyl group. Theobromine poisoning can cause nausea and vomiting, and in extreme cases lead to seizures, internal bleeding, heart attacks, and eventually, death. Well, that's scary, and kind of sucks too. So should we worry about overdosing on chocolate? Probably not. Dogs can get poisoned much easier because they eat a lot, really fast. Dogs have an LD50 of theobromine of about 300 milligrams per kilogram, which means if we had a 25 kilogram dog, they would need to eat about 7.5 grams of it to kill them. Humans have an LD50 about three times higher, and in general, we don't eat an entire pan of brownies or those giant five pound bars of Hershey chocolate in one sitting. It's also important to note that the amount of theobromine inside chocolate depends a lot on the type of chocolate. In general, darker chocolates with more cocoa have much more theobromine. That also means that white chocolate contains virtually no theobromine and is a lot safer for dogs. If your dog has recently eaten chocolate and you want to know if they are safe, check out the chocolate toxicity meter, link in the description. And as always, have a super duper delicious day.